Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. We have 5 to the power 7 to the power x equal to 7 to the power 5 to the power x. So how can we solve it? Take a look, we have not good power position of this power because right here we'll have power with this power and this power right here. So we need to take in log from both the side, but I would do one not to take in log, I would take natural log. So if we take in natural log from both of the side, we will have natural log of 5 to the power 7 to the power x equal to natural log 7 to the power 5 to the power x. So I just take in natural log from both of the side. So as you know, if we have a power, this power jump right here in the beginning and moreover right here in the beginning as well. So this power jump right here in the beginning. What we will have? On the left hand side we will have 7 to the power x times natural log 5 equal to 5 to the power x times natural log 7. So what we're going to do next? <clears throat> Take a look right here we have as well not a good position of this power. So we need to take in natural log once more from both of the sides. So let's do this. Natural log of this expression 7 to the power x times natural log 5 equal to natural log 5 to the power x times natural log natural log 7. So we just take in natural log once more from both of the side. What we're going to do next? We all know that if we have a, a product right here, if we have multiplication, so we can check this multiplication by a sum right here and right here. This is a log log property, so we can write it as natural log 7 to the power x and plus natural log of natural log 5. This is our left side. But on the right we will have in the same case as well. We will have natural log 5 to the power x and plus natural log of natural log 7. So take a look. We have a really good case because x right here can, write, can be written in the beginning and we'll have a little bit simplifying answer. We will have that our x times natural log 7 plus natural log natural log 5 equal to x natural log 5 plus L natural log ln 7. So as you can see we just bring this x right here. So right now we have an expression with axis. This is expression is axis and we have a constant. This is a constant and this is a constant. So let's bring all of constant on the right hand side and over our axis on the left hand side. What we will have this goes this stays on the left x natural log 7 and I bring this x natural log 5 with the minus sign on the left natural log 5 equal to natural log of natural log 7 and second constant minus natural log natural log natural log 5. So right now as you can see we have a really good answer on the right because this is this is a constant and moreover we can factor out x from here, from this, from this expression. If you factor in it, we will have x and in parentheses we will have natural log 7 minus natural log 5. And right here, as you can see, we have a subtraction. We have a difference of two logarithms. So if we know a rule, we can write it as, as a division of two logarithms. So the sum is multiplication and subtraction is division. So we can write this one as natural log of a division of two logarithm. This one dividing by this one. So natural log 7 dividing by natural log 5. So as you can see on the right hand side we will have a constant and on the left hand side we have only our x and a constant. What do we need to do? We need to divide both sides by this expression and right here we will have only our x. So our x is equal to natural log natural log 7 dividing by natural log 5 and all dividing by this expression natural log 7 minus natural log 5. Moreover we can rewrite this expression in our denominator using this logic. So the final answer will be natural log of natural log 7 dividing by natural log 5 and all dividing by right here we have a subtraction so using the same logic we need to divide the first number by the second one using log property so natural log 7 dividing by 5 this this will be our will be our answer 
So if you still have any question, write a question in the comment. So this is our this is our answer to this interesting algebra problem. This is a really good problem because we remember or we learn about a new logarithm rule, logarithm property, right here logarithm rule real, really good right here and factoring and division and multiplication it's really good to remember and it's really good to know. So if you still have any question write a question in the comment, write a suggestion in the comment, maybe you have another method how to solve it, it will be really interesting to read it. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.